Okay guys, so in this video, it is sponsored by Dragon. So Dragon, I just, no, I'm joking. <laughs> we can dream. Imagine Dragon being one of the sponsors. I consume this stuff probably more than I should and all the health addicts is probably having a small heart attack now. Something really cool is our Truly Health um, Ice Bath Skin. Baby, just come and help you. My hands are full with my Dragon and my phone. So this is really cool. Um, Jock from Truly Ice Bath. Thanks, bud. So he dropped all five or six ice, ice baths. Can we maybe unpack one? Yeah, let's do it. Maybe take one out and then we can just see what it looks like. And he just came off and said, guys, just some ice baths. I'm cool to sponsor you. What an amazing guy. Yeah, super awesome. Let me flip the camera around and we can do our unboxing. Okay, you ready? Okay. So this is Manette's first unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> We've got a promo go. Do a, pro a promo go video. So as you can see, <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> cool. Okay, get in the bath. Do this at home. Don't don't do this at home, guys. This is what we're going to be looking for. <laughs> 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 Hermanet's getting brave on these videos. <laughs> so, guys, this is the truly health. Um, Vainant is going to pop us now as well. Then we're going to go through just our plan for the day and what's that? All the slats, and then it also yeah. comes in like a really cool carry bag. So again. I think Jock's going to be there this Saturday, so if you want to get a Truly Health um, ice bath, just have a chat to him. I think he's bringing next shipment, so a couple of days. And that is it. Nah? Yeah. Okay, say bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>
So I need to go through a process and kind of just map out what is the next things that need to get done. So I'm going to, you know, Vaynan's coming over now. So myself and Manette and Vaynan's just going to sit and go through what needs to happen. What's kind of the next stuff that needs to happen. And um, just shows you the power of a team again. I've been, I'd say, struggling to get out to anything, getting anything done. Uh, start working on any of the processes we needed to get sponsors we've got the ice bath challenge in like two days and i wanted to get sponsors in and i wanted to get promoters in and we needed to get ice baths and ice and all that sort of stuff and i actually just wanted to say almost gave up on it and just thought you know what i'll use a portion of the ten thousand rand and just buy the stuff and rent it out and get the things that i need to do also realizing that that means a massively decreased ad spend budget. And then I walked in yesterday afternoon after a really long day, got to the office at like seven, and Manette said, no, done. She's got ice baths from Truly Health. Uh, she's got ice from Centurion Ice. They both came on the sponsors, so thanks guys, <laughs> you uh, kind of saved the day. And then obviously the venue that's sponsored, and we've got about 50 people that's attending our ice, ice bath challenge. Um, and then Vaynan's busy working on some of the landing pages and Abigail's been sending out uh, promotions on all the different groups. So just showing you the power of a team to get the other stuff done when you are working on the main things that's kind of bringing in the income. What We kind of get stuck in that space. We just do the things that brings in us um, income. For example, if we do ice bath, we just run another ice bath and another one. And we use that income to pay for everything else. But what about the bigger picture things where we use this money for the ice bath to roll it up into the next level to start generating income? Instead of just constantly using this money, the profit should go into version two, which produces higher income. And I think when we don't have that team in place, we kind of default back into the space of just doing the things. And with a team, now I've got that stuff in place. I'm busy promoting all the workshops and presenting all the workshops and doing coaching and 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 they can come in then on the top level and start working on the things that's kind of the next level. So today, gonna sit and just start mapping out what's the things that need to get done. I'll actually post something in our WhatsApp group, just what's all my action steps that I needed to take to be able to get this. Guys, stay tuned. Next up, all the action steps. Hey guys, so still another selfie stick from my under is sitting there at the back. Again, I don't know what all these kids are doing with the selfie sticks. Guys, let's go into the process today. we are be looking at the two different funnels. So we've got two funnels set up, two processes running. So I want to show you a bit more um, in detail what each one of these funnels do. And before that, I want to just shoot. So this is behind the scene footage. Look at Muhammad standing here watching the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you. <laughs> so Mohammed is doing a behind the scenes. So we're doing two. Guys, jokes aside, let's get into this. <laughs> so number one on this side, this is we are calling our Dragon's Den Shark Tank. Our one is Viper's Pit. Let us know what you think. We love it. Let us know what you think about it. It's a South African version of Dragon's Den and Shark Tank and all that type of stuff. So what is it? We're building out exactly the same funnel as what we do for all other businesses. So it was just amazing to see that even in a business like this, we're running a series or episode, how uh, exactly the same funnels work. So in the top line, we've got our awareness. Then we need to move it to a close interaction, which is the application part of it. And as they go down, we schedule pitches, then they're gonna go into kind of a prelim pitching where we eliminate the good and the bad pitches. But even before that, we're gonna do entire day workshop showing everyone what is the correct way of pitching. Because maybe there's guys with a brilliant idea in business, yet they don't know how to pitch. So going through after the 100, we're gonna to get to the final 50. And then this is cool. Each one of them is gonna get a video and the audience, you guys, go in to actually vote for who you think needs to be on stage. Everything filters down to the top five. At the top five, they sit in the Viper's pit and they pitch for their one million bucks. So that's a process beyond this. Now in any given project, we need to look at what is the key success factors to make this work. Otherwise we get involved in a whole bunch of fluff. In a 90 day process where everything's compressed, there's no time for fluff. 
we need to get down to what is the actual key success factors to make this work. At the top here, key success factors, KZ. One of the things that's going to make this work is we need to create enough hype around this to get enough entries so that we can have a proper competition. We need sponsorships, we need promos, we need landing pages, we need a good marketing strategy. And then also very, very importantly is a venue. Guys, if you know of a venue that um, I always look on these WhatsApp groups where they're like, can you recommend a good um, electrician that's not going to charge your arm and a leg, but they need to be able to work at the level of a Ferrari. So I'm going to employ that tactic. Guys, do you know a venue that's not going to charge us an arm and a leg to host the conference? So I don't mind paying a couple of hundred thousand rand. You need to be able to seat a thousand people. You just can't pay a million bucks to run the conference. As we move down the process, at the final five, when they pitch for the million bucks, they are also going to get mentorship from the Vipers that's going to be sitting in this really high level business guys that's going to help this business succeed. Can you imagine what's going to happen to that business when he gets the resources, the input, the networks, etc., of all these Vipers, dragons, sharks, whatever you want to call them, and me mentoring them over a process to get them to a certain point. Plus, they get a million bucks in cash to actually use a lot of those resources to be able to scale their business. Absolutely insane. That, imagine I had that when I was that age. I probably would have blown it on some fancy car, but we'll have some control over the money so they can't do that. Right, so leading up to this, this is going to cost probably a million, two million, three million to actually run this process, to document the whole process, to get venues, to do the sponsoring, to pay for a lot of the team. So what are we doing to raise the funding for that? This Saturday, our ice bath, leading up to an event where I'm going to show guys how to pitch. So we already have 60 or 70 guys for, how many do we have for the ice bath now? Right? 60. So we've got just over 60 guys coming through to our ice bath. Absolutely insane. Thanks for the support, guys. It really means a lot to us. Then we go into our pitch for investors, how to create a compelling pitch for the investors, and then obviously our rooftop bar. So I'm meeting, I was supposed to meet with someone, can't say who, because very confidential, they listed company, and they're going to help us with this particular event, because this is their audience as well, and then potentially be a sponsor on the side as well. So going through this process, obviously selling tickets for 250 bucks is not going to get us to a million, so what do we do? is I made a deal with all these guys that helped me through the process of pitching this. We're going to have an upsell, limited, very small group, where these guys are going to come in and help. Those of you that want to create a pitch for your business, that want to get investor funding, they're going to help you structure your business in a way that you can also get investor funding for your business. So it's a three or four day process where we're going to sit and go through the entire process. What's it going to cost? Don't know yet, I'm busy working out the figures, probably around 10k, which is super cheap. If you had to go to any one of these guys by themselves, they'll charge you 50k because it's a favor to us and they're helping us with the fundraise. They're doing it for us for 10k. Or we managed to squeeze all the costs in, into 10k. Upsell that, that gives us money then because all of this is running in the next three weeks. Then we still have about five or six weeks before the actual big event that we need to start paying for those venue fees. So which means we can raise about half a million from this in the next probably three weeks. And then from there we'll launch phase two of the money investor fund that all funds the main big idea. So same thing for your guys, for your business guys. What is the process of moving money from the one to the other, not losing track of your big money maker? So guys, that's the video for today. I'm off to see Eckhart. I don't want to pronounce his surname because I get it wrong. Tolly, Tol, I don't know what, he, what his pronunciation is. You guys will know him. He wrote a book, The Power of Now. And he's in South Africa for like two weeks or whatever. I think this is actually his first South African tour. I wanted to say if you guys are there, come and say hi. But you're only going to see this video after I was there. So guys, next up, going home, shower, then we're going through to see what is the these tips and tricks or secrets to live in the present. Guys, enjoy the day. And if you are at Ekatoli, maybe pop in your pictures or whatever by the time this video releases and show me your videos or pictures and what did you think about this event.
Okay, we made it. Well, I kind of made it. <laughs> I caught myself a few times. This is my sleepy music. I want to tell him. But it's... Uh, Eckhart, you've been putting me to bed for two years. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. So, it would be really cool. Uh, really cool to be in the space and, and um, yeah, just be in the space and be in the energy now. Yeah. Now we are done with the present, now we're moving into the future, into the next 90 days minus 18. So guys, uh, yeah, that's it. We are going home now, we're going to have a, a what? A why? I think the, the, the main outcome is mindful application. Be mindful of what you do and why you do it. Yeah. Yeah, so very cool. Very cool to me. We've read his books and all that sort of stuff. Sorry, but dark, yeah. So I'm going to cut the video during night, guys. Ciao.